Hey guys, welcome to D-Pad. I'm your host, Kirby Kid. And Satan Faust. And today, we are talking about PS4. VR. VR. This thing, I've been waiting for it for like two and a half years. I'm, I'm glad that it's finally out. It was fun. The first day was a little rocky. <laughs> so, if you guys saw my, my first video I posted mm -hmm. earlier this week of my first impressions, um, I, it took me about five minutes to set up. It was pretty quick. But... Uh, after about an hour of going through the training and the first match in rigs, I did throw up. Now, full disclosure, I was already home sick from work that day, hence why the video came out in the early afternoon. But uh, it still was a thing to, to note. Simply Cedric tried the game for about five minutes, and he had to throw up. So, but... but uh, that he had to throw up? Yeah. After five? After five minutes. Wow, I, I was playing for how long? You were playing for about 25 minutes. And did I throw up? No, you did not. No. Oh. So what does that tell you? Some well, of us were meant to be Gundam violence, others were not. Uh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, but like, now I played again today and didn't. I didn't feel queasy at all because um, I, you know, I'm feeling a little better than I was on Thursday. But play, played played uh, Eve Valkyrie, the demo, which is awesome. It's real. I was I was actually if it had been available to buy, I would have bought it. Like it'd be downloading right now. <laughs> uh, we played uh, what was that game? The, the Danger Ball. Danger Ball. Danger Ball. Okay, look, Danger Ball. You cheat. You're a cheater. You cheat. Right? I you beat just, almost all of you. You just come out of nowhere with just these new things. It's just it's basically like advanced stress pong. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if you're gonna if you're gonna be playing that, uh, yeah, for sure it's fun though. I mean that that's a given. Yeah. Uh, then I was gonna play Star Wars. The, the X-Wing fighter mission, but um, it's not out yet. Yeah. Yay. Get on that. If that's just what we're going to do. We're going to start threatening people yes. to, to get on. No, to. no, just EA. But you were happy with Riggs. I mean, okay. I, w I was happy with Riggs, let's, yeah. Let's, let's counterpoint Riggs right now. Okay, mm -hmm. Riggs, um, it's fast-paced. Yeah. It has the potential to be the next great eSport. Um, it's already got built-in sponsorship abilities. Uh, it's team-based. Uh, if they added something such as customization, uh, right. both the weapons and the look of the rig, a little more um, variety. In I mitts. think they also need to make sure that it can be played without VR, because the four hundred dollar barrier to entry can keep it from being adopted widely. Well, yeah. okay, talking about price. All right, it's yeah. it's a great price. Yes, if uh, like, all the things you're, you're, you're not getting, getting ripped off, you're no, not getting ripped. You're off. not. You're not. All right, it's the, you get the headset. Right. You get the headset, the move controllers, uh, which you don't really, really need. You get a few USB cords, you get an HDMI cord, you get the breakout box, uh, you get PlayStation Worlds, you get the demo disc, which has a bunch of games on it. Uh, you get a cleaning cloth, which is pretty cool, which is you're going to need, as we found out. Um, you're definitely going to need that. And then, of course, you get the headset. I mean, it's a lot. It's a, a lot, lot. For 500 Yeah, it's a lot for 500 Because uh, I, I got the bundle pack, and uh, I'm happy with it. Um, but, but then again, I have a pretty good job, and... I had well five hundred plus to spend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's you true. Know. That's true. But the good thing is, for people that are worried, well, you know, PS4 Pro is coming out this year right. as well. I don't want to invest in two different things. You it know, ran you, great on my regular PS4. Yeah, it ran great. So I would say get the PS4 VR now, then just start saving up again, and then get the Pro when you can. Yeah, I mean, the, it's, the, it's the, not the a Pro rush. is not a it's not a necessity. Right, it'll just be a hundred percent better. <laughs> okay, so if we could rate this from let's say one to ten, uh, comfort. Let's talk about the the comfort. Okay, I own the HTC Vive. Um, I also had the uh, Samsung Gear VR. Um, in terms of comfort, this is the uh, the PS4 VR is the most comfortable headset. It's the easiest to put together. Um, it does not slip because uh, that's a big thing with the Vive and the and the Gear. It would always move on my face uh, when I was playing. This didn't. It was secure. Uh, and I, I could wear this headset for hours. I mean, I did the first day. I, I, you can wear it for a long time. I couldn't wear the Vive or the gear for longer than 30 minutes without being uncomfortable. Um, and that's that's definitely a really good selling point. Um, I wish that, like the Vive, it had the camera on the front. Other than that, I, I think Sony right now has the best VR headset. I, I mean, for sure. Not graphics-wise, but uh, on literally every other aspect, I think it's better. Okay, so then we would recommend people buying this. Definitely, I would I would give it a an eight out of ten. The only reasons why it's not ten out of ten is the graphics and um, being able to to move around like with the vibe because the vibe it's a fifteen by fifteen foot radius. Right. 
Out of that's perfect. Well, okay, so then basically this is a good entry level VR machine. It's a it's a good uh, yes. good entry level for people who are a little worried about whether VR is for them or not. Right. The investment isn't as high. Now, um what about connectivity? I mean, the installation. I'm sure it was it took easy. it took me about five minutes. So basically what you do is you get if you get the bundle pack, which I suggest you do, you get the new camera. That takes two seconds. You put it in the little cradle. You bend it so it can, you know, stay uh, on on the flat surface. You plug it in the back. That's done. Then you get the breakout box. So you plug your HDMI cord uh, from the PS4 into the breakout box, and then you plug the breakout box into the TV. Then uh, uh, for streamers out there, uh, right now my VR is running through the Elgato, perfectly fine. So don't worry about any interference there. Um, and then you also plug the headset into this little tinier box that then plugs into the um, the breakout box as well. And it's got this really cool slide thing. Uh, so you, you slide it up to plug it in and then you slide it down and then it like shields the wires from being hit, which is pretty cool. Um, and then of course the the, um, the breakout box has its own, you have to plug it into its own power source. And then uh, this, and this, this kind of bugged me. It has a USB port. Uh, you have to plug it in USB into the PS4 in the front. I didn't like that. Um, like, because as you guys can see, I have the Bluetooth thing for the gold headset, and then the other port is being filled. So if you have the head, if you have a headset that uses USB, both your ports are going to be used mm. uh, for this, which is kind of stupid. It means you can't. It's, it, ma it makes it a little harder to charge your controller while playing. Okay, well, then there you go. Those are the counterpoints that don't make it a 10 out of 10 product, you know? Right. Um, so, basically, what we're, we're, we're seeing now is, uh, yeah, for sure, uh, the PS4 VR is perfect for basically anybody. Mm -hmm. um, 8 out of 10. It's, we were using it for quite some time today. Uh, yeah, had a right. lot of fun. Yeah, and you can use your regular games in it. You know, it, it projects it on what is the equivalent to be about a 100-inch uh, TV. So, I mean, you can you can watch Netflix on this. You can play Ninja Storm on this. Probably not Ninja Storm, but you know. <laughs> Nobody plays Ninja Storm, Kirby. Nobody plays Ninja People Storm. People sometimes. So, no. No, stop it. But You're not bringing no, it back. I think it's great. Now, what are you looking forward to on VR? Um, well, you know what? As we all know, Best Buy failed me. Yes, So, did. thank you for calling that out and jinxing me. <laughs> um... But you know what, I, I was looking forward to Riggs as well. Mm -hmm. um, I look forward to Eve of Valkyrie. Yeah, that that is mm -hmm. one heck of a game. Bad. I am an, I am an Eve player. I've played uh, Eve online oh, as well as Eve player. Eve does five one four on the on a PS three. That was one of my vices. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely looking forward to Eve at Valkyrie. Um, Drive Club was actually a really good one as well. Mm -hmm. I like that. How about Illegal Illusion? Uh, I'll wait on that wait one. On that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm looking forward to a Gundam game <laughs> properly properly being done in I VR. I don't think Bandai's going to do that. I'm but sorry. I, look, Bandai, like, we've been over this. Just be better. Just choose to be better. Did you just tell Bandai to be better? I did. I did. I've been... I have some friends over there at Ben and Namco, and they, they hear from me every convention. I'm like, guys, it's not hard. It's really not hard. Just just be better. Just be better. Just do the game you're doing now, but like first person. Yeah. I mean, or, or, or or do like a Build Fighters thing, but like, but incorporate VR. Yeah. Another thing that would be cool with VR, what we were talking about, Yu-Gi-Oh! card-based games. Yu-Gi-Oh! would be so dope. Right. Oh my god. Magic I, I'd come back. I, even though the the current current format is a bunch of BS, I'd come back to Yu-Gi-Oh. I'd come back. Yeah. Well, you know, you could always Pokemon. play it like the in the in the anime. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Yeah, that, that would be awesome. Like if we just make sure Nintendo Which goes would, well, really under, and then Sony yeah. can just buy it. Yeah. They they no. only have Pokemon. That's all they no, have. No, no, no. Remember, Nintendo's trying to come back, and they're going to introduce the new system, the NX, and it's going to be the next revolution in Nintendo's. You don't even believe that. You don't believe that. I don't the moment they said cartridge. <laughs> yeah. The moment like, they said mm, it's going to be cartridge. cartridge based, no one does that. It's like, mm. okay. But you never know. I mean, technology advances. Yeah. Digimon. So. Could be cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. Digimon World. 
Digimon World would be great. There's so many things they can do with this. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, and like, uh, uh, the cool thing about these games, at least with Rigs so far, is that it didn't feel like it was a regular game with VR tacked on. Like, this game felt like it was built specifically for this purpose, which is great. Because a lot of people were saying, you know, like, like the Vita and, you know, the, like, the move, this is going to be, like, another peripheral that they're going to forget about. Right, but in this case, like I said, the, and I, I told you this when I first saw them, is this is like eSport material. Mm -hmm. Like People can get into this um, if there's a way to patch in actual real sponsorship um, right. logos and actual sponsorship into the game and integrate it together. I mean, it could be huge. I mean, right. people would want to watch something like this. Um, it's entertaining. I mean, people on YouTube watch uh, Call of Duty videos, anything first person. That, that, and how cool would it be if you could be a spectator using VR? like be in the stands watching it that would be awesome yeah right but like i'm saying the potential for rigs is so much like mm -hmm. right now i think it's it's i don't want to say it's a beta but it, it kind of seems it like it feels is like an right? enhanced demo right it's yeah. that's what it is it, and i think i think that based off of that they can build off of it and right. say hey you know what you know let's get all these suggestions from people what can we do right. what is plausible titanfall 2 could be dope with this oh yeah yeah, yeah I'm I mean, sure a lot of people now that they've learned to listen to put a story mode in Titanfall 2 could be dope right kind of like people who wanted to put a story mode into Gears of War right <laughs> um, <laughs> but sure but yeah I, I think this uh, this this headset is it's not it's not a bad idea it's not a fluke it's not some accessory that's going to be thrown away this is really good so um, but that's it for this video guys let us know what other questions do you have about VR um, and what games would you like to see us get for the VR, you know, if you want to have Kirby get scared and film not while doing playing it. Resident doing Evil, it. they're going to play. I mean, Resident that Evil. would be great. They're going to play it. What? I will not be playing it. Oh, you will still be playing it, and it will be filmed. So you know what? Put it in the comments. We want Kirby to. You know what? Hashtag Kirby Kid Resident Evil. No, that should be a thing. I'm not going to do it. They cut to like a month from now. I'll be playing it. Like no, <laughs> no. But uh, that's for this video, guys. Until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid and Satan Faust. See you later, guys. Night.